lot of people weighing in on this. The Cincinnati Zoo had to make that difficult choice of putting down this more than 400 pound gorilla. A very controversial decision that is causing an uproar. The big questions, did the zoo's team of experts make the right call? And where was the family? Two eyewitnesses who saw the incident and the family sat down with nine on your sides, Roseanne Aragon. Roseanne, uh, we're, we're so anxious to hear what they said. Julie, these witnesses tell me they were standing right next to the family as this was going on. The couple tells me they were heartbroken because they felt that the gorilla didn't mean any harm, but say you just had to be there. It was basically either the child or the, or the gorilla, and they chose, you know, a lot of people say poorly. They didn't see it, you know, I saw it. A closer look at a terrifying moment caught on video. A boy falling into Gorilla World at the Cincinnati Zoo. This 400-pound gorilla holding on to him. Bruce Davis and his partner, Tangi Holyfield, were there. Because there was nobody getting that baby back, I mean, away from that gorilla. No one was taking him. This was the photo they took. They said just moments before the Cincinnati Zoo's dangerous animal response team shot the critically endangered animal. You could look in their eyes and tell. They had a tough decision to make. The zoo issued this statement. The Cincinnati Zoo family is in mourning today and trying to process the death of 17 year old gorilla Harambe. The gorilla was killed yesterday in order to save the life of a child. Mommy's right here. Tangie Holyfield stood right next to the family. I don't even know where she was when it happened. I seen her after it happened, but she was just going. That's my baby. That's my baby. The family issued this statement. We're so thankful to the Lord that our child is safe. He is home and doing just fine. We extend our heartfelt thanks. We know this was a very difficult decision for them, and they are grieving the loss of their gorilla. Holyfield says she hugged a member of the family's group. I discomforted him and told him everything is going to be all right. She says they were all torn. He was just flipping out, just scared. The scream from that gorilla that I've never yeah. heard. I don't think that he was hurting him. He was just protecting him. What we saw, he could have been killed at any second. I mean, he bashed his head off a rock. He threw him 10 feet in the air and, and I saw him land on his back and it was, it was, it was a mess. I spoke with the boy's grandfather, and the grandfather says the boy's doing fine. The family's just asking for some privacy. Now, these witnesses say the zoo did a great job and made the right decision. We're live tonight at the Cincinnati Zoo. I'm Roseanne Aragon, 9 on your side.